exalt the Lord with me, and let's exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and rescued me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces will never be ashamed. This wretched man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. What are we taking refuge in today? I love this where David writes that he's taking refuge in Jesus, that he's a wretched man and he's crying out to God. If you don't know God, if you've never had a relationship with God, like I never had for most of my life, it's hard to get out of the daily grind that we find ourselves in and to know that there is a a higher power, that there is a God, that Jesus is there for us. And if we cry out for him, he will save us out of our troubles. It doesn't mean he's going to make everything go away and everything become perfect, but it means that he'll give us the strength and the resolve to get through the things. And as we mourn, he'll mourn with us. If we rejoice, he'll rejoice with us. But it's about a relationship with the Lord. And it says, exalt the Lord with me and exalt his name together. Let's do it together. Let's exalt his name together. Let's raise up his name. Let him rescue us from all of our fears. Let's seek the Lord. If you've been doing the same thing over and over again, and and you're struggling and you can't figure things out, you don't know what's wrong, and you have this hole in your heart, then you were like me. Taste and see that the Lord is good. I promise you, if you reach out to God and he touches your heart, you will never be the same. God bless and have a great day.